you've heard about how Arizona is growing, and it is. But we have so much more to do. So when we think about you know, what the opportunity is, and you see you know, on the slides you know, the, the black screen with the golden rainbow and the pin, I will be watching for all of you to put on the pin, to wear it, not just when I can catch you, but all the time. Because I can tell you that it works. People will come up to you and say, hey, that's a cool pin. Where did you get that? And what is that for? And you can tell them, my name's Kelly. And I work to create the Bioscience Leaders of Tomorrow with an amazing program called KEYS at the Bio5 Institute. Or, my name is Tony, and I work at a law firm that supports some of our leading life science companies as they are creating new treatments and hopefully someday cures. We talk a lot about cures. Can anybody tell me how many cures there actually are? Two. We've got a lot of work to do. We can prevent disease, right? Vaccines were, you know, other than public sanitation, which was the biggest lifesaver of the last century, Vaccines have been the greatest life saver of our lifetime. But Dr. Google is a double-edged sword, and now we have a situation where we don't always trust that the vaccines are as safe as they should be. And because of that, our vaccination rates are dropping and diseases that should be gone are coming back. Now, you heard tonight about a company that is working on a two-phase structure, right? The early diagnostic that can help us catch cancer early, first in animals and then in people. But here's what I imagined. Here's what I see for the future. Here's that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I have had the opportunity to work in technology, whether it was traditional tech or this. Now I'm in my fifth decade. And during that time, I have lost too many friends. Or they have lost their memories. So, the vision that I see, that far horizon that we get closer to every day, is a world where people say, did you know, in my grandma's time, people used to get cancer? And I hope someday there is a generation of children that can say, what's cancer? I know that there are families that are struggling right now to hold on to their memories. And I know that there are people in Arizona that are working for better treatments, better diagnostics, better solutions for those patients and their families. Right, Dr. Ryman? And Thanks to people that are in this room working right now, our spare parts, the, the biologists call them organs, but you know, for most of us, right, I need a new knee, I need a new elbow, I need a new aorta, I need whatever, right? The day is coming thanks to the work that's being done here in Arizona that we'll have more answers for those people that we serve. And that's what matters. I can tell you there are a lot easier industries to work with 
than this one. You struggle with the science, which doesn't always work. You battle for the funding, and by the way, we're you know, going to be doing that tomorrow. Then you have to get to the regulatory agencies, and then you have to get to the reimbursement folks, and then you have to get to the hospitals and the doctors and have them actually use what you created. That's hard. But it's also important. And it's the work that will change the lives of people like you and I today and for generations to come. I see a future where Arizona is home to the largest healthcare philanthropy in the United States. Today, the largest healthcare philanthropy in the world is in the United Kingdom. It's the Wellcome Trust. It was created by an American, but he started it over there. Well, I think it's time that we had one here, and why not have it in Arizona? So, AZ Advances is part of the Opportunity Through Entrepreneurship Foundation. AZ Bio and OTEF came together to create AZ Advances to do three important things. To support our workforce, to train those amazing young people that you saw and help them on their journey. To work with our entrepreneurs so we see more companies like Calvary succeed and to provide the essential mission-related investments at the very early high-risk stages so they can achieve the milestones so they can move forward. On the other side, we, with the partnership of the Arizona legislature and at the time Governor Ducey, established the Arizona Health Innovation Trust Fund. That is designed to be a permanent endowment that will grow forever. And it needs to continue to be funded to get to its goals. But when it does, it will again have another thing in Arizona that is unique across the United States. And I encourage all of you to work with us to make those visions reality. Because I don't want to ever have to say, I'm sorry you lost your loved one to cancer. I don't ever want to have to hold the hand of someone because their parent or their brother or their sister is losing their memories. And I'm getting older every day, so I need my spare parts. So please get involved with our life science sector. For those of you that are in the trenches doing the work, thank you. For our hospitals, our, our caregivers, our nurses, our doctors, who deliver the things that we create. We can create them. We can deliver them. But you're the person that holds the hand of the patient when they need you the most. Thank you. <laughs>